Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Crimson Red, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to be get the best scorpion slash tarantula farms depending on your region and ever since the new May Day update. So, personally for me, I am on the northern hemisphere and it is May 1st. I know it says May 2nd in the bottom left, but it is May 1st. By the time this video is going up, it will be May 2nd. But um, with that whole entire May update, and since it turned May, we get new bugs. And one of them is the scorpion. Now, I used to farm tarantulas like a lot, but ever since the new update back in like, I wanna say April, they heavily nerfed like the spawn rate for tarantulas and scorpions. And I pretty much gave up on tarantulas then cause I was kind of just like, you know, I don't wanna spend hours trying to catch these things. But since there's a new bug, which is the scorpion, I was kind of like, okay, is there any way that I can actually farm these? Even if it does take hours. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So if you guys look at my island, there is actually no water. And this is huge. Um, because of where I'm in the northern hemisphere, there are now water bugs. And there's like three different kinds of water bugs, actually. So I personally, if you can, this was pretty much just pure luck. I have a three story only uh, land type of island. And after I take down all the trees, all the rocks, all the flower buds, I am left with only three bugs that I need to worry about. And I'm gonna show you guys them right now. First one and the most annoying one to most people, but not to me, and I can't wait to show you guys this, are the mole crickets now usually and thank god that they're going to be gone next month usually you have to dig these guys up and that's the only way that you can despawn them fun fact though and i just re recently learned this from a youtuber named austin john apparently if you put weeds on top of them like if you listen to them and you hear them you can actually despawn them with weeds now, another cool thing is, too, is that they can't spawn in weed areas. So if anything's on top, they actually can't spawn there. So you can actually heavily decrease the spawn of mole crickets or the location that they can spawn at. And it's actually become such a cool thing that I actually don't have to worry about them. Um, this whole entire time, I actually haven't dug up a mole cricket or even worried about them i do hear them but the most of the things that i'm actually despawning which is the other thing is a tiger beetle which all you have to do is run um which i do need to warn you guys about because um running is a huge problem when it comes to the scorpion but the last one to worry about is the wharf roach which i thought putting items on the rocks would help despawn them but they don't so you do have to check the rocks from time to time all you, again all you have to do is run over them and they scare them uh, but yeah, let's talk about the last guy, the main guy that we're all here for, is the scorpion. Now, the scorpion and tarantula, you might be, th you know, thinking, okay, they're the same thing. Because what I used to teach my friends, if they ever wanted a tarantula, was, say the tarantula is the water. I would just tell them to sneak up, and then when the tarantula jumps, you get him. But, with the scorpion, he actually doesn't have a jumping animation, and this is why he's a lot scarier, and you actually can't do the sneak up tactic, because he's actually going to bite you before you even throw down your net. The only best way to do it is actually to run at him, and then do a run, 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 180, and then catch, which I'm going to try and find one right now, but yeah, scorpions are definitely a lot more dangerous. But while I'm looking for one, I am going to explain pretty much um, how I did all this. So I pretty much put weeds where I thought would be the best. Um, personally, I put it on the top floor and the second floor. So that means that the, the tarantula slash scorpions can only spawn at the bottom floor, which is the best because then I don't need to keep um, climbing up. Now they do, I do have like some open patches right here and they can spawn like right here from time to time. But pretty much any holes mole crickets cannot spawn at. And also it kind of helps me control the spawn where it's pretty much just at the bottom where they can spawn at. So then all I have to do is pretty much just run around here. Now the tiger beetles are the only ones that can actually still spawn on like weeds and stuff like that. Um, if they're close enough, you can actually whack them with your net right here. And then you can continue to move on. That also despawns them. But here are some more roaches again. Just run over them and that's how you get rid of those. Bop. 
But yeah, guys, I'm going to keep doing this. And when I find a tarantula, I will cut back to you guys. So I'll see you then. Oh, my. I think there was one right there. Oh, don't tell me. Drop down. Why would you drop down, Scorpion? Why? All right, guys. He is right there. He's running away, but he is right there. So, yeah, he is right there. Um, I'm going to show you guys um, pretty much his move patterns and stuff like that. If you do get close, he still does what the droid's like. Oh, you better back the hell up. But I'm going to run. And as soon as I run, he doesn't even jump or anything. Um, so, yeah, he is nothing like the tarantula. I'm going to turn around 360. Boom. Or 180, whatever it is. Um, this, this took me about 10 minutes to find. I'm going to give you guys some key tips right here on the screen, okay? If you can, now because I know the islands are completely random, try and get this island. It's three tier island. I don't know what the percentage is of getting it, but you don't have to worry about the water bugs, okay? Which eliminates three bugs that you have to worry about, which takes your grand total from six to three, because then you only have to worry about the wharf the tiger beetles and the mole crickets which the mole crickets if you bring enough weed and you make enough holes you don't even have to worry about which is my other thing that i'm gonna say it would not hurt to bring weeds with you because if you fill the top layer and you fill the bottom layer or the if you fill the, the top layer and you fill the second layer and you leave the third layer open for the scorpions you might only have to worry about the tiger beetles spawning up top because one big problem is um some of the tra the scorpions that actually spawned on top here they decided to uh jump off they decided to jump off the mountain so uh that sucked because they died they despawned but yeah i would definitely bring weeds with you um, if I definitely knew that I was actually going to get this island, because this was just kind of pure out of luck. I was kind of like, hey, let me fill up um, this island with weeds and holes, and it doesn't have any water on it, so let me try it. And sure enough, it works. Um, so yeah, honestly, bring your own weeds with you. Definitely going to help. Definitely going to despawn, um, you know, scorpions from the top and hopefully bring them more at the bottom. But yeah, no, nah, like this, this is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, we have now a row and two right here. This is definitely going to take a long time. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, if you are one of the people that kind of like to collect for blathers, and then you kind of just want one for your own, this is going to be cake. You know, it probably takes about 10 minutes, you know, just to collect uh, two scorpions. Um, that wants to make a statue out of it for flick like how I kind of want to or if you want to sell them as well um, Then yeah, maybe you know Maybe 20 minutes, um, but if you're going to farm this It's probably gonna take hours um, And that's not just because you know, this is like a terrible Farm or anything like that um, That kind of stuff is out of my control. Like I said ever since they had the update and stuff like that for bugs they definitely made the rarer ones like the scorpions and the tarantulas very very rare to get so yeah guys as the recap try and get spot the three tier island so there's no water bugs you can pretty much eliminate water bugs so you only have to worry about the wharf roaches the tiger beetles and the mole crickets which if you bring enough weed for the top layer and the second layer you pretty much don't need to worry about mole crickets so you only have to worry about two to bugs and then, of course, you're trying to capture the scorpion or tarantula. Now, this is all going off the um, northern hemisphere. I don't know if you guys over in the southern hemisphere might have another bug that comes out at night on certain conditions. Um, but besides that, you're only you know, pretty much fighting against only a couple other bugs. Um, another thing as well is, like I said, you cannot do... If you're in the southern hemisphere, then you can definitely do the thing with the tarantulas where you sneak up on them. And then as soon as they jump, you can actually catch them. But for the northern hemisphere friends, you're pretty much going to have to do the running technique, which all comes down to 
awareness because if you're not aware and say you're just running willy-nilly and then there's one right in front of you it might get you or your timing when you do the 180 if your timing's off then he can also get you so it's all about timing and awareness when capturing scorpions um but when it comes to the spawns very easy take down all the trees take down all the weeds take down every single rock and then yeah it comes down to luck and uh spawns and stuff like that but uh, yeah guys if this video did help you out in any way or you did enjoy it make sure to smash that like button and also considering uh subscribing i know i did a couple of animal crossing videos in the past and i'm honestly loving the game and in the future, I'm going to do a couple of tutorials when it comes to terraforming, um, which is the um, waterscaping and landscaping. Um, and also, if you guys have watched my older Animal Crossing videos, my island has changed drastically. Like, it, you guys would look at it and be like, are you even on the same island? I have upgraded it so much. And also, I could tell, like, a couple tips and tricks, I guess, on, like, different stuff to do uh, with your islands as well. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure that you, um, you know, think about subscribing with the notifications on. But uh, yeah, guys, this has been your boy Crimson Red. We caught a couple of the scorpion boys. And hopefully for the southern hemisphere, you guys catch some tarantulas. Uh, good luck to everybody. And yeah, it's your boy Crimson Red signing out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So we're at the end of the mountain. We're gonna run. Is he? Oh my god. I don't understand that. Sometimes they. Oh my god. Sometimes they jump off and they're wild, and sometimes they don't. God damn it. Okay, so there's a scorpion right there. Um, this is actually one cool way to also do it. I kind of dug up these little things right here, the holes, as you can see, because I knew that sometimes they spawn right here. So I'm gonna run. And he's, oh shit. Oh my God.